Okay, so I wanted a quick update on the SJR looper circuit. Um, let me go ahead and start the circuit here and then I'll talk about it. And uh, we'll go from there. This is an electrolytic capacitor. Um, right now I've got a 10,000 microfarad 10-volt uh, electrolytic capacitor in the circuit. Now you can see that I've increased the uh, brightness intensity. I've actually burned out one of these LEDs. I've got more in order. The circuit does not run as well with this one LED burned out. So it actually had better performance before I made the video. But I've ordered a bunch more of these uh, LEDs. I'm also utilizing the third coil now. Prior to this point, I had not been utilizing the third coil, but I've got that connected up as well. So when I get the time, I'll get a schematic out and all this. But what I've done is I've set a pot here that lets me adjust this. And you can see even on this uh, low current draw setting, which is down, if, if I remember right, it's pulling about 30 to 40 microamps. But, you know, it's putting out a whole lot more light than my previous uh, setup. So I'm pretty happy with that. But what I really want to show you is this tuning pot that lets me tune this up and crank the intensity up. So I don't know if you can hear the core starting to squeal, but it's starting to squeal and it's getting pretty bright. So anyway, I'm really excited. Definitely making uh, making progress here with this. So you can see the uh, the light coming right out of there. So anyway, I'm going to re-solder this thing together with uh, the LEDs, all correct, no burned out LED, and uh, go from there, but very, very happy with the uh, progression I'm continuing to make with these SGR looper circuits. So anyway, I'm experimenting with, man, I've got more cores and uh, coils and ratios and copper foils with no copper foils. Man, I am trying everything um, on this particular circuit. and. All of a sudden, I came up with this configuration this evening, which just ran far better in utilizing the third coil than anything I was getting to prior to this. So, again, I'm just, I'm really excited. And uh, I've got some neat ideas for the flashlight. Um, I'm probably going to make the flashlight have a simple hand generator on it that you can just very quickly charge up. You know, a lot of the uh, flashlights that you have out there, you have to shake and shake or crank and crank because they're, ca they're charging either a supercapacitor or even batteries. With this electrolytic capacitor, um, we can create a flashlight that you can instant charge and then just run on and on and on with the light output like this from it. So this thing will be a whole lot easier to charge than any of the uh, reserve power um, battery banks or capacitor super caps that I think are out there at the current uh, time. So I'm encouraged. I'm really, really excited actually about this, folks. So I just wanted to show this quick update. I'm going to go ahead and crank the power up more because I've got to go up to the house. Um, I do not have time for this to finish. It's starting to blind out the camera, so I'm going to put it down like this and crank this up some more to discharge this cap. So again, I'm not worried about runtime now at this point. What I'm focusing on now is really uh, light intensity and scaling up. So That's getting really hot. I actually have to be careful this this particular one. Um, yeah, I can probably crank up a little more. It's not quite hitting the floor yet, so let me... That That's really getting hot. So you can see it lighting up the floor down there. I mean, ouch. Yep. Yeah. That's some usable light right there. So this, in addition to all the running we've already been doing, pretty cool, man. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do, because I don't have time on this video to do a full discharge, I'm going to go down to this little electrolytic, you know, this is a 10,000 microfarad, I'm going to go down, actually let me dis, yeah, that's still got energy in it, so I'm disconnecting from the 10,000 microfarad just to show you some runtime experiments. I'm going to run on this little 3,300 uh, uh, microfarad 10 volt that I've used in my previous experiments, so that will give you a little better idea of the runtime. Um, let me just go here. It's a little tiny capacitor in comparison to that last one. And the flashlight thing, I may actually go with a fairly large, like a 50,000 microfarad capacitor because it will still charge very quick and easily compared to a super cap or batteries, like I said. So, all right, we've got the little tiny 3,300 microfarad. I've got the whole setup, so let's start this guy up here. And again, I just want to do this because I can show a rundown faster in this and give you kind of an idea of where I'm at with this for those other people experimenting. 
All right, so it's running on in that. Let me go ahead and uh, crank the intensity up here a little bit. So normally in the past, in my experimentation anyway, if I made a circuit like this at this intensity, I would drain this electrolytic just really quick. So I'm really, really happy to be able to do this. It's fun to keep making breakthroughs, but uh, let me go ahead and crank it up here a little more because like I said, I have got to run up to the house for supper. Yeah, that's getting pretty bright, especially for running on on this little guy, so. I'll have some more updates coming as I get all the rest of the LEDs on there. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just keep cranking this up here a little bit because uh, I really do have to go. So I'm going to point it down here. Again, 3,300 microfarad electrolytic cap. Let's crank it. <laughs> Look at that. That guy's pumping out some light, folks. So we'll crank the remaining energy out. Let's just go ahead and crank it up and fully discharge it. You can see it's getting white hot. And that's probably the reason I burnt out the LEDs, just running this at that max there. And that's the end of the pot right there. So, Anyway, I will carry on and uh, keep sharing the updates and get a schematic of this new arrangement out here pretty soon. So that's the update. Let's all keep experimenting.